later. It shows how at the age of 25, I'm already starting my own business. And at the age of 35, I'm already a wealthy businessman. Unlike you, Dominic, who's already on your 20s but still living under my roof and doesn't have anything I can be proud of. Sorry, Dad. You know I'm not into the business stuff. I will do better next time. Do better next time? What's supposed to be make me feel better? I didn't become a successful businessman just to have to son who will say he will do better next time. You have to be the best so you can take my spot once you enter the business industry. But then... Can you guys stop? Let's not talk about things like this in front of the table. Have some respect, mom. Please calm down. Let's go, Veronica. We're going late at the meeting. And then, we're up to work is to have that things to, to manage. We're not done, Dominic. Stop it, both of you. We're going. Take care, mom, dad. Bye, mom, dad. Kuya, don't mind Father Dominic. You know Father and his attitude. Why can't you just tell Mom and Dad that you really don't want a course you are currently taking? I did that before, but our parents don't want me to. I want to pursue architecture, but they just get mad and said, take a business course too, just like at the moment. Don't be like me, Dominic. In fact, I took this course because our parents told me so. I crave academic validation from them. That's why I always do what they want me to do. Kuya, I think you can just try asking mom and dad again. I know it's hard to ask our parents, but it's harder to pursue something you don't really want. That's right, Dominic. I think what your sister said is true. But where will I get courage to tell them the truth about what I really wanted to do in my life? Ate Maureen and I were always here for you, Kuya. Only the three of us got each other's back. So let us also be one another's courage and motivation. Thank you guys. I'm grateful to have you both as my sisters. The day was just starting but I already feel tired and exhausted. Hey, what's up? Have you seen your gauge? Oh, is it out already? Yeah. Okay, I will look for it. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I know this semester was kind of hard, but I know I did my very best. Please, please. so disappointed with my grades than me being disappointed with it. Ate, are you okay? What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing, Annalise. I'm okay. Ate was just stressed about all of this school stuff. If you say so, Ate. Don't worry, Annalise. Ate is really fine. Kuya Dominic said he will talk to mom and dad tonight about changing his course. That's good. I'm glad he took our advice and went for it. How about you, Ate? I thought today was really, really about your grades. Did you see it? Um, about that. They were good, but it was just not what I expected. You expected? Or what mom and dad expected from you? <sighs> Ate, even if you don't usually tell us something, Kuya and I both know that you are also struggling. We know that you, being the eldest, hold so much responsibility and expectation from our parents. But despite that, we're always here for you, Ate. 
Thank you for the kind words, Alaris. Ate is glad that you and your kuya is thinking of me. That's what siblings are for, right? Thanks. Hey, what happened? Why do you look so stressed? Nothing, Ate. Just tired from all the school works. Ate, I have a surprise for you. What is it? The project I just made for our science fair. Guess what? First place. Wow, congratulations, Annalise. You did great. You did well, Annalise. Ate and Kuya were very proud of you. Thank you. Let's definitely celebrate your achievements. What's going on here? Why all of you dropping out the light? Mom, Dad, I just was first place in science fair. That's it? You're happy? Mom, can you just appreciate her achievements? Is that what she wants to brag about? You guys celebrate as if she ran first. I'm on her batch. Annalise, what mom and dad just said doesn't mean you did not do it. Ate and Kuya appreciate your efforts and all your hard words. Thank you, Ate. Thank you, Kuya. Yes, you did well. Mom, Dad, there's something I want to talk about. Okay, sit down first. What is it? It's about my course. What's wrong with this course? I want to ship courses. I know it will be hard, but I will pursue it. And that's what, that's what I really wanted to do in my life. No one should think course. But Dad, can you just please reconsider it again? If your father said no, that's a no. But Mom, that's not the course that I was wanted to pursue. I was, I was forced to do this because this is what you guys always wanted. This is what's going to, to be good for you. So, listen to us. We're inside to resign up your grades, babe. How is it? They were good, Mom, except for one subject. It was just one subject, and you did not manage to ease it. It was hard for me to die. Is that all we do? You are worried, you sorry. I'm sure you talk about it. Sorry, Mom, I'll do better. Of course, you should. Can you just let Kuya Dominic decide what he wants? He is, an, he is not a kid anymore. He is old to decide what is good for him. Same with Ate Maureen. Can you stop pressuring her? She is a human too. She doesn't need to, per, to be perfect in all ways. You will never know our struggle because you only care for the good, good reputation that our family has. Sometimes I wonder if you even see the three of us as your children. You expect too much from Ate Maureen and put pressure on her all the time. You don't respect Kuya Dominic's decision and support his passion. Then me, I'm your children too. Every time I say something about my achievement, you did not even bother to congratulate me. I will never be enough for both of you. You will never be good enough for you. We never even had a chance to feel both of you as our parents. I'm not saying this just for myself, but also for Ate Maureen and Kuya. And for you guys to realize that we are all trying our best to meet your expectation and make you guys proud. What gives you the right to talk to us like that? You're nothing to surprise me to this family. After all the hard work that we make this family, and you're just going to talk us like that. Why mom? Can we speak ourselves? We're following what you asked us to do. Both of you, mom and dad, is ignoring our achievements? They're right. You always ignore our achievements and push us to the things that we don't want to. Is that what our parents supposed to do? This is the first time that I'm talking to you like this because I can't stand the way you treat my siblings. Why? Do you think all your achievements are enough? Compared to the sacrifices your mom and I made? No. What does our parents? You still need to support us because after all, that's what our family should be, right? Helping, encouraging one another. So stop comparing us to both of you because we will never be like you. Annalise, Dominique, let's go. Let's go, Mom. Wait. What do you think? Are you being tough today? Maybe it's time to stop comparing them to us. I always ignore their achievements because I thought if we push, we push them, more they will the best. Okay, let's start for them. 
Owen, Annalise, come here. Do you yes. want to push your course? Yes, Dad. Okay, go for it. Really? Yeah. So happy, and Dad. And Annalise and Owen, we're sorry. And be better parents. All of, all of you. Come here. Look for it. 